I'm Brittany. You're going to stand up straight. You're going to get into that line. Hi. I don't want to be her. I hate everything about her. <laughs> We're studying <laughs> studying drama for our HSE. Um, so in year eleven, it's you're learning kind of the basics, like of how to script a play. What storytelling devices you can use as well? We did a lot of um, group work. How to work as a group, how to get a piece going. <laughs> we learn how to develop plays. I can't even deal with you right now. And you need to stop yelling at him. Seriously, I you won't need... stop. Um, a monologue is something that one person says to the audience. It's your own script. Creating alone, agonizing. <laughs> There's like plenty of acting, it happens in practically every lesson, even the theory lessons we still get to get up and workshop and have fun, honestly. Yes. <laughs> um, in appreciation we're doing Australian theatre and we're also um, looking at two practitioners. Augusto Buell and Vaslav Myhol. We were studying the play Stolen and Neighbourhood Watch and we got to actually go and watch Stolen at Riverside Theatre for an excursion, which was really interesting. We got to do a lot of prac work. Yeah, we get to do lot, like plenty of workshops each lesson. Even, like, okay, so even within like the theory stuff and the written word, written stuff, we still get to get up and you still get to play all these games and... So basically you workshop the things that, I don't know, you revise? Workshopping is, um, for us at the moment, we're workshopping the activities that um, the theatre practitioners used to do. So we see their approaches to acting. Um, an IP is an individual project, project which you choose what you want to do. I think there's so there's multiple options that you can choose. I think the most popular ones is IP yeah. performance. Yeah. Performance. Uh, I can't handle it. I'm going crazy. We're yeah. doing IP performance, so we basically have to find a monologue that we really enjoy and through that kind of script it together and yeah. I'm doing a comedic piece on a, a play called Bombshells and I went with this character called Tiggy Entmissal because you know she <laughs> I don't know I feel like she kind of represents me because she's very like shy all the time and not confident Like, I feel like you can't be scared anymore because like everybody's in the same kind of boat as you and also okay, that <clears throat> on stage you're like a total, like, whole different person. You are so perfect. It's acting. Yeah. When you're doing drama you learn how to kind of break out of your shell and just be really, free. Yeah, submerge yourself into a character that is either similar to yourself or completely different from yourself. Like yeah. it just gets you out of the hole, like you inside. You're very like, mm, I don't mm. want to talk. But it kind the more of, you practice, the more you like out there. Mm. Kind of, it yeah. forces you to be more expressive. Yeah. I want to punish you too. I can't let you know. <laughs> but I have to. Yeah. Because if you're on stage. Be, like trying to portray a character on stage, you have to be 
really big with all your movements. You have to be strong and powerful too. I'm doing costume design. <laughs> Um, I'm doing my costume design on A Midsummer Night's Dream by Shakespeare. When she's angry, she's keen and shrewd. She was a vixen when she went to school. You have to create a concept about the costumes. You have to choose um, four to six designs. And within those designs, you have to create a concept that would create unity throughout the designs. Yeah, and then you create the design, you do mood boards, you create, you get like the material for it, you get textures, yeah. We're in a group together. We are the red group. Yes. yes. We get assigned colour, each group has a different colour. It's a tricky process, like coming together and trying to find an idea. So I was kind of changed. You try out an idea and you workshop it and you try and make it work but if it doesn't work you have to talk to your group and discuss. If that happened with us we had to, we kind of just went this isn't working. Yeah and we had to we drop changed. our idea yeah. but it was alright because that meant that we had to go with a different idea and it seems like that idea is going pretty strong. I believe it goes 8, eight to 12 minutes. Yeah, yeah. for 8 to 12 minutes. A lot of that time can be used just creating movements and not as much dialogue or more dialogue unless you think. Our teachers are pretty cool. We have like the yeah. best teachers. We have the most support, honestly. Mm -hmm. Like they put all of their time into us, they stay back for us, they help us find concepts, they pretty much do everything. They do as much as they possibly yeah. can. Yeah. They it's are. kind of like a love-hate relationship. <laughs> <laughs> you want to throw yeah. them out the window, but then catch them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Do <Choose> drama. <laughs> yeah, choose it. It's fun. It's great. It's not like your other subjects where you have to be always sitting at a table yeah. writing work. You're I suffer every day, and you don't even see it. You're always... Every Moving lesson, around. yeah, you always be, get, get the yeah. chance to move around. Like never, like no two lessons are the same. Yeah, never. It's always something new. Refer it ran away. He did. I know you don't want to believe me. Is you're always trying out new new ways to express yourself. John, stop! Stop looking at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> really. Refreshing. It's a refreshing subject. It's hard work. No! Stop! Stop! It's hard work, but it's fun and it's worth all the hard work. I said stop it! Do drama. <laughs>